Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll solve two very interesting problems based on voltage divider bias. Let me show you those questions first. See, this is first question and this is second question. If you have seen my last video in which I have explained one problem based on voltage divider bias, where to solve this question, I have calculated input equivalent circuit in terms of Thevenin's equivalent circuit and if you do that in that way then it will take a bit more time but I have explained you one conventional way of solving voltage divider bias. Here I will solve these two problems without having conversion of input circuit into Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So here we have voltage divider bias configuration and we need to find operating point. Operating point means what? Operating point means we need to find Q point. Q point means we need to find output current IC and output voltage VCE. So let us solve this step by step. See here with this circuit we don't have IC, we don't have IE, we, do, we will be having VBE for silicon it is 0.7. So here as per VCC, we can calculate voltage at this terminal. Voltage at this terminal is VB. So by having voltage divider rule, we can have VB. What is VB? VB is VCC into this resistance that is R2 divided by this two resistance addition. So R1 plus R2. So VCC that is 20, R2 is 10 and R1 is also 10 over here. So you can say 20 divided by 2 means 10 volt. So now we have VB voltage that is 10. Right. Now based on VB voltage we can identify emitter voltage. We can identify emitter voltage over here. Right. How? One should know what is VBE? VBE that is VB minus VE. VB that is 0 0.7 volt. VB that we have calculated that is 10. So one can have VE. VE is how much? VE is 10 minus 0.7 means 9.3 volt. So now we have VB as well as we have VE. So from VE, from VE, now we can have, from VE, now we can have IE current. VE is how much? 9.3 volt. Right. Now, what is VE? VE is IERE. -E. Right. Here we are grounding this resistance. So you can say, you can say VE is IERE. -E. So based on this, you can have IE current. IE is how much? VE by RE. VE is 9.3. RE that is 5 kilo so current will be there in terms of milli right 9.3 divided by 5 that is 1.86 right so we have IE current now if you observe here see we don't have transistors data like what is beta so if you don't have any other data then you can say IE is equals to IB plus IC right IE that is IB plus IC but IB is negligible IB that is negligible so you can say IE that is equals to IC almost right the reason is beta value will be high if it is very high then you can say IB is 0 so IE that is equals to IC right so here we are considering this so now we are having IE, IC current, right? And based on that, we can have VCE, right? How to have this? You just need to apply KVL in output loop. You see, this is output. So here we need to apply KVL in output. So if you apply KVL, you see, we have VCC voltage 20. So let me write 20. Then in this loop, we have second voltage VCE that is happening from plus to minus. Means I need to write minus VCE. That is equals to, see in this loop, 
through this resistor current is ic right so you can say ic is how much ic and ie both are equal right so 1 kilo into 1 point 1 kilo into 1.86 milli so kilo and milli that is getting cancelled plus through this resistance ie current is there that is also this so phi into 1.86 so you can say vc vc is how much vce that is this minus this so if you do this calculation let me check what is my answer my answer for vc that is 8.84 voltage right so now i got the value of vc and current ic that is operating point of this circuit right so that is how simply we can solve the questions right so here we are not converting circuit in terms of Thevenin's equivalent circuit directly we are solving it as per the explanation now let me explain you second problem over here see this problem is quite interesting here we have not given with vcc we have not given with ic we have given with base current collector voltage emitter voltage is needed over here so many parameters that we need to find over here first of all we need to find ic current if you want to find ic then you see ic is here now ic that one can calculate based on beta and ib ib is there with us right so what is ic ic that is beta ib beta is 100 ib that is 20 micro ampere right so if you solve this then you will be having 2 milli ampere so now we have ic right now see once you have ic all you can do is you can calculate another parameter that is ve now see we have ic we have ib so ie can be calculated first what is ie ie is ib plus ic so ib in terms of milli that is 0 0.02 see 20 micro means 0 0.02 milli plus ic that is 2 so ie is 2.02 milli ampere now we have ie we have re so ve voltage is how much re ie right ve is how much re into ie so just multiply this two so 1.2 into 2.02 not to if you do this then let me check what is my answer that is 2.424 voltage so now we got the value of ve now see we have ve we have base current collector current emitter current so we can have uh, vcc right so how to have vcc see collector current that is there with us collector voltage is there with us so potential difference in between this two that is ic and rc right so you can say vcc minus vc that is equals to ic rc here vcc that we need to find this vc that will go on other side that is 10.6 volt plus ic rc ic ic that is 2 rc that is 2.7 so if you add this 10.6 plus 5.4 so that is 16 volt right so now we have vcc third parameter now we need to find vce if you observe here vc and ve both are there with us ve that we have calculated so based on that we can have vce even what is vce vc is vc minus ve vc is how much 10.6 VE is how much? 2.424. If you do this, then you will be getting 8.176 volt. So now we got VCE, right? Now we need to find VB. Now you see, here VB is there, right? Here we have VB. VB for silicon is 0.7. VE that we have calculated 
so you can say vb is how much vb is vb minus ve vb is 0.7 vb that we need to find and ve that is 2.424 so you will have to add this with this to get vb so vb is how much this plus this that will be 3.124 volt so now we got the value of vb we wanted to have now r1 now you see r1 that you want to calculate right r1 is unknown over here now how to have r1 see at this point voltage is how much that will be as per voltage divider rule so at this point voltage is vb one should know the basic equation let me explain that vb is how much that is vcc into this resistance r2 divided by this two resistance addition r1 plus r2 now here we have values vb is 3.124 vcc that we have calculated 16 voltage r2 that is there with us 6.8 here i am writing 6.8 only right at last i'll consider answer in terms of kilo ohm r1 that we need to find and r2 that is 6.8 we just need to simplify this you see if you take this term on the other side r1 plus 6.8 that is equals to 16 into 6.8 divided by 3.124 if you then 6.8 on the other side will get subtracted if you solve this you will be getting r1 so r1's approximated value that is 28 kilo ohm right you just solve that in calculator you will be getting this answer only so without converting circuit in terms of thevenin's equivalent also one can solve questions that's why i have made this video otherwise basic process that i have already explained in my last video I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that I would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.